What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You all probably all remember this chapter 2 cutscene ending. The ending of chapter 2 with the white fox and the snow fox and the monk, this guy, leaving his house with a fox around his neck. So, now we are back in chapter 3. And this is the cutscene. And you probably didn't know. Maybe you did pass this guy and you never started the secret quest line. You can continue his story, what happened after everything in chapter 3. Just starting the challenge at the right moment. I hope you will enjoy this video. I hope you will hit that like button, subscribe button, share this video with your friends. And the most important thing is always, share the love, guys. Share the love. Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me heal. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with gratitude. I thought I could aid him in his career in return for saving my life. Little did I foresee that following a dream he would take my life. My soul lingered, yet he left without a trace. I sought tirelessly, only to find he had become a monk in the new Thunderclap temple. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Come from here and calm my soulful heart. He's hiding in the side hall of the temple. Kind sir, will you lead me to him? Dead already. For years I prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. Nothing, not even the scratches, can free me from this tree. The nature of your cause is beyond remedy. I've brought this upon myself. They say mortals and Yao Guai's walk different paths, but it's after seeing him again that I understood. Those who fear Yao Guai's are fouler than what they fear. 